Hi, this is Ned from Magic of View. Today, I'm servicing Japanese movement, Miura 8205. This is part 3 of 3 video, dealing with lubrication and reassemble. And if you haven't seen part 1 and 2 already, I will put the link in the description section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. I am servicing Miura 8205 Dealing with lubrication and reassemble The lubricant I'm going to use are Mobius 9415 Mobius 9010 Mobius D5 Mobius Grease 9504 Breaking Grease 8212 And Mobius 8200 Start with the main spring. I put Mobius 8200 throughout the length of the main spring. For cleanliness, I always change new finger cuts. Since the spring will be coiled clockwise, Mobius 8212 will be put on the right hand side of the groove of the barrel. I am hand coiling the main spring. To me, this process is quite hard. It takes a lot of effort and practice. I am hooking the arbor to the main spring. Once that done, I'm closing the barrel with the lid. Let's start the reassemble. Begin with center wheel, main spring barrel. I'm checking the operation. Center wheel cock. I lubricate the center wheel with D5. I put Mobius 9010 onto the sweep second pinion. I'm fitting the sweep second pinion and checking the operation again. That's the escape wheel, third wheel and fourth wheel. I am fitting the click spring. It is held by one screw. A touch of D5 where the click is sitting on. That's the click and is held by one screw. A touch of grease, Mobius 9504. I'm wiping off the excessive grease. I'm fitting the winding wheel. I'm making sure if the click is engaging with the wheel. Some D5 on the barrel and the arbor. That's the ratchet wheel. I'm fitting the reduction wheel. I'm putting a touch of D5 onto the intermediate wheel post and the crown wheel post. That's the intermediate wheel and intermediate wheel washer. I'm fitting the crown wheel. I'm checking the operation. I'm fitting the sweep second pinion friction spring onto the bridge. Let's fit this big bridge. I fit the screws just to hold the bridge, not tighten it up yet. I manipulate the winding wheel to ensure the click is engaged. I 
This also helped the staff fall into the drill holes. Now screw it out a little more. And checking the winding wheel again. Once everything is in place, now it's time to tighten up the screws. Now I'm checking the operation. That's Mobius 9010. Mobius 9010 on the escape wheel. Mobius 9010 on the fourth wheel. And Mobius 9010 on the third wheel. That's D5. D5 on the winding wheel. And D5 on the reduction wheel. D5 on the main spring barrel. Let's work on the dial side. Mobius 9010 on the escape wheel, fourth wheel, and third wheel. D5 on the reduction wheel, and also D5 on the winding wheel. D5 on the center wheel pinion, and also D5 in the center wheel drill hole. And that's the cannon pinion. Let's work on the keyless work. Start with winding stem and clutch wheel. I'm putting Mobius 9504 on the post for the yoke. And Mobius 9504 in the groove of the clutch wheel. I'm fitting the yoke. Make sure the tip of the yoke lies in the groove of the clutch wheel. I'm checking the operation. Mobius 9504 on the post for the setting lever spring. That's the setting lever spring. Once it is fitted, then I can engage the spring. I put Mobius 9504 onto the spring for better action. A touch of D5 on the post for setting wheel. D5 on the post for the minute wheel. Touch of D5 on the minute wheel. I'm fitting the minute wheel plate. Let's clean and lubricate the cap jewels. For the first rinse, I'm using the greaser. Then blow dry the part. For the second rinse, I'm using ultrasonic solution. A touch of Mobius 9010. Make sure the end piece is locked properly. That's the calendar driving wheel. D5 on the post for their driving wheel. D5 on the post for the hour wheel. I'm fitting the date corrector spring. Mobius 9504 on the date corrector. I'm fitting the date corrector. That's the calendar spring jumper. Mobius 9504 on the spring jumper. I'm fitting the date wheel. 
I engage the spring with the date wheel. Now I'm fitting the cover plate. It is held by four screws. I'm fitting the dead driving wheel. I'm checking the overall operation, the hand winding function, and the quick set function. I'm fitting the day disc and locked with C clip. I'm checking the function again, the quick set day date change. Let's work on the rest of the escapement and balance wheel. Start with fitting pallet fork. And that's the pallet cock. I'm checking the operation. I'm putting Mobius 9415 on the exit jewels. I'm fitting the balance complete. Let's clean and lubricate the cap jewels. Degreaser for the first rings. And the ultrasonic solution for the second rings. Mobius 9010 Finish with the end piece I think I need another video for casing up the watch Otherwise this video will be too long Thank you for watching See you in next video When passion and hobby collide I'm net from Magic of Wheels